Situations such as this can lead to a hunter's pulse quickening sharply. The hunter has been waiting patiently in his raised stand, and the opportunity finally presents itself. The time has come to keep calm and just wait until the chosen animal is standing in the open and can be targeted without endangering further game with a bullet or its fragments. This scene was only filmed by chance, but it makes strikingly clear the danger which emanates from bullet fragmentation. From his angle of view, the hunter is acting entirely correctly and is waiting to take a shot at the fallow doe until the older animal has moved out of the potential danger zone. Nevertheless, the older animal was hit by fragmentation in the flat, and it was only thanks to the chance filming of the scene and the following search for the animal that it did not have to suffer unnecessarily. The hunter himself noticed nothing of this unintentional double hit. In order to show how to assess the danger zone behind the targeted game, we've carried out a comprehensive series of tests. Two wild boar, which were unfortunately victims of a road traffic accident, served as targets. We erected a white control board 10 meters behind them to document the bullet strikes and the impact area of bullet fragmentation. The calibers 8x57IS and 300 Winchester Magnum were chosen for the trials as well as various types of rounds. Classic semi-jacket construction were used in addition to modern composite full metal core as well as the so-called unleaded types of rounds. Both with 8x57IS and 300 Winchester Magnum calibers, the classic types of bullets showed the strongest tendency to fragment and consequently caused the highest risk level in the background. Although in comparison, modern semi-jacket rounds and unleaded rounds caused a lower level of fragmentation, the risk of an unintentional double hit resulting solely through fragmentation cannot be entirely ruled out with these types of ammunition.